What up, fam? Today, we're gonna cut glass using fire and ice. Stay tuned. To try this technique out, I'm gonna try to cut this wine bottle into a drinking glass. For this, you're gonna need a container of ice water big enough to fully submerge your bottle into. This will fulfill the ice portion of our equation. For fire, I'm using acetone as my accelerant, though rubbing alcohol would work just as well. This hemp cordage is gonna act as my wick, controlling the burn and its placement on the bottle. Just make sure to exercise safety when messing with fire. Keep your space clear of anything flammable and have an extinguisher on hand at all times. All right, so start by wrapping your cordage around the bottle right where you want your break to happen. After a few wraps, tie it in place and snip off any of the excess tails. For this next bit, you're gonna wanna put on some gloves. Now, slide those rings of cordage you made off of your bottle, trying to keep them in shape. Then submerge them completely into your accelerant and let them soak for about a minute. Once it's all loaded up, remove the windings and slide them back into position on your bottle. Then discard your gloves just to make sure there is no accelerant left on your hands. All right, here comes the fun part. Position your bottle over the ice water bath and set that bad boy ablaze. Once on fire, slowly rotate the bottle to ensure the heat is evenly distributed. So we're hoping to cause thermal shock just along this ring of fire here, hopefully resulting in a clean break. Once the fire begins to die down, just plunge the bottle into the water and watch the magic happen. This is so cool! The glass doesn't seem to break so much as just kind of separate along our line. This particular separation is a little bit messy for my taste though. So I decided to try again, aiming for more of a whiskey tumbler size. Bam! Look at that again! The glass just kind of casually snaps apart. So cool. And this break is much cleaner than the last. To straighten it up even more, I just busted out some 80 grit sandpaper and ran my glass along it. Then I hit along all the edges just to make sure there was nothing really sharp left over. And check out how nice that came out! There is just this one spot that's still uneven, but cutting it with just fire and ice, I'm really impressed. If you give this a shot, let me know in the comment section below how it comes out. In the meantime though, like and sub if you enjoyed what you saw here, stay safe, and as always, keep leveling up you.